Well, this time of year, underdog stories are always fun. And in the town of McGregor, the boys' basketball team has truly overcome the odds. Just a few years ago, their junior high teams didn't win a game the entire season. John Lordson shows us how the small town team made a big turnaround. You only have five boys a class. You kind of, kind of make what you can with what you got. With just 91 kids in the entire school. Talk through that screen! Finding enough players can be a challenge. Carolina, Carolina. And depending on the year, sometimes the numbers just don't add up. Swing it! On the roster. You got it! And then on the court. Esco my, well, I think it was ninth and 10th grade. It's pretty bad. I think it was 115 or something like that to 20. No one appreciates just how far the McGregor boys have come, like junior Carson Passer. It's not that some of Carson's junior high teams had bad losing streaks. They just didn't win any games for years. How many games did you win in fifth grade? Zero. How many games in sixth grade? Zero. Seventh grade? Zero. Eighth grade? Zero. That's what makes this turnaround so special. McGregor went 23 and three this year thanks to Carson's three-pointers. And senior Cole Gelhar's dunks. Even more special is that these two, along with senior Billy Staska, all joined the 1,000 point club this season. The strength is all up here. We're just, um, we know what it's like to lose, we know what it's like to win. And that's the fun part. They're now beating teams that used to beat them by 40 points or more. They're good in the classroom, they're good outside of the classroom, they're, they represent us and our program really, really well, and uh, they just come to work every day. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. That is so great. Isn't it? Yeah, the determination and you hard bet. work. You bet. Uh, McGregor hit 18 three-pointers in a game earlier this year. That's pretty amazing. They're the number two seed in their section, and they play Pine River tomorrow night.